the ACC assist leader. At the charge for the number 12 team in the country, 16 and 3, 5 and 2 in the ACC, the league's third best record, and 6 in ACC play. Coming off of a Sunday loss here at home against Florida State. Starts off with a 3 from Anthony Lawrence. Out of Castle Coliseum in Blacksburg. 78 56, the final against Syracuse. Here comes Robinson charging down the lane, and he takes the easy feed from Blackshear. They're defend the three point line as best they can. Zach Johnson with the post feed. Robinson there to intercept it. Up the floor, and Alexander Walker has the easy lay in to put the Hokies in front by one. Three point line. You got a clean look. Don't worry about the clock. Go ahead and fire. Warner, Alexander Walker rattles home the three. That's where they can have an advantage today against undermanned Hurricane Squad. Izundu thunders down the lane and lays it in with the left hand. Their leading scorer and eighth in the ACC at about 17 points a game. RQ. Look how easy he makes it look. A guard an undersized guy. You never have a defensive advantage. There's no such thing as a trap. It's like watching the Harlem Globetrotters out there just dribbling around. Yes. Likes couldn't shake Alexander Walker. Hill's got it. Alexander Walker the other way against the undersized Likes and scores easily. At the next whistle with Vasilovic at the table for the Canes. Likes thought about it and made the right choice for three. Since sitting for Virginia Tech, Alexander Walker initiates the offense, splits it, and lays it in again. Back-to-back -back buckets for the sophomore from Toronto. Beattie lost it. Here comes Likes. And he gets it to go. The Hokies leading score, 18 a night. Off for Hill coming off a 16-point game. Got Wardenberg in the air and puts it off the window. Triples the ball up the floor. Max, strong move. Chest to chest. It's not that black hole when you dump it down low. It's not coming back. High IQ. Alexander Walker picked, popped and then put it on the floor to score. Yo. Robinson extends the largest lead of the day for Virginia Tech. Outlaw, almost a 50% three-point shooter, put him anywhere on the floor, and he's got a good chance to pour it in. But he's got to find different ways to remain productive, and he has, but the last two games struggling without question. Beatty with a real easy path to the rim. First time today, the Hokies lead by 10. Lawrence gave it a thought from the corner. Wardenberg in great position to score, kicks it out, and it pays off with a three from Vasilovic. Do you think the coaching staff would like him to perhaps at least turn and face the basket there? For sure. Great wheel route there. Patience from Alexander Walker. It's the foundation, if you will, and a lot of it because of personnel and the team they are today. But they gotta find ways to connect with the great equalizer, the three-point shot. Vasilovic with a long two. Carolina, but they'll have other opportunities. Uh, this is a very dangerous team. How will they respond here in the second half? That's part of what makes them so dangerous. Ahmed Hill, right off the inbounds pass, who became a priority for them. The grad transfer from Florida Gulf Coast University after Bruce Brown and Lonnie Walker left. And there's Wabisa Beatty getting in on the action. Find a way to insert himself offensively here. He's their main scorer. He's got to be aggressive with his shot. A much-needed three-pointer. Hokie showed the double team. Likes turns it over, and Alexander Walker jams it at the other end. Second half, and doing it defensively, this is a team that is very capable of turning the opponent over. But it was just lazy enough where the defense gets it. Now they're starting to really take advantage. Off the backboard for Robinson. Here's Chris Likes. Lawrence, over two defenders. They're staying man. Robinson simply too fast and too smooth as he finishes with contact. Alexander Walker too strong for Amp Lawrence. 
Wardenberg the kick out. Lawrence lunches. And it drops through for the senior from St. Petersburg, Florida. Hill lowers the shoulder, goes full back into Wardenburg. Space you out, knockdown shots, a lot of offensive threats, fundamentally sound. My cousins, Jordan Cornette with you here in Coral Gables, Florida. Houston fans excited, and you <laughs> knock them off that quickly. We got to keep our expectations realistic for everybody. It's not even February yet. Just five to shoot. Hill, the 17-footer, fades away and hits nothing but net. Beatty wanted Outlaw to roll with him. Had a pretty good option waiting on the wing. Timing and anticipation gets them going. Johnson finishes. Point now. So we saw Justin Robinson just a couple minutes ago collapse on the floor on the baseline on this side. Looked like a hip issue after colliding with a Med Hill in the first half. He's got 15 points though. But let's that go as Wilkins, the freshman, gets to the basket before he does. <laughs> <Get going. laughs> He'll shorten the look from the corner, and it's still good. The sideline Robinson. Just an old guy with a good feel for the game and incredibly talented. One of the many old guys on his Virginia Tech team. Isn't that what we all hope to be at the YMCA one day? Old, an guy's old guy really with good. a good feel for the game. <laughs> the YMCA. <laughs> I don't know what YMCA you're going to. <laughs> Too easy to get to the bucket for Alexander Walker. Hey, their only first round draft pick was Dell Curry back in 1986. But they've never had an underclassman go in the first round. Around me, facilitating in the, in the middle of that zone as a passer to make us win. That's a star. A self do. With the left hand scores, probably say eight teams are tournament worthy at this moment. I'd agree with that. And then you hope. Uh, a Pittsburgh or a Boston College. Closest conference. Syracuse a favorite on the road tonight ahead of Boston College. It struggles to get better, but they're also so thin, they're just trying to make it through. And it's an unfortunate circumstance for Miami because there is talent here. That story. Because we have no other way in 2019 to find you during the week, so we'll just have to have people tune into the Miami game each of the next two Wednesdays to get the answer. That's why you see the struggles with the Canes and their depth as opposed to what doesn't appear to be much depth with the Hokies. Vasilovich doing what he's on the floor for, hitting threes. Don't want to give any openings. Too good of a look in the corner, and that's going down almost every time for Outlaw. We cannot be that open in that critical situation. Likes off the handoff, he's got it. A matching three. A flurry from the Hurricanes. Wardenberg, perfect from the corner on his first three-point try of the night. Difficult tests await for both squads. The Hokies go to Raleigh to face another top 25 team in the Wolfpack.